Hey guys, welcome back to Diamond C headquarters. Today, what I'd like to do is go through a trailer build with you using the build your own feature on our website. Uh, probably a month ago or a little over, I did some stories on Instagram and I asked, you know, what would you like to see more of? And so one guy said, hey, what kind of trailer? What's your favorite trailer? And so I thought, you know, I've been wanting to do a video to show the build your own feature and kind of walk through it as well as, you know, I can, I'm going to do that and highlight, I picked out, you know, the dump trailer. What's my favorite dump trailer? So we're going to do um, a quick run through. I'm going to go to a sc screen recording here in just a second and walk through kind of picking a dump trailer. Why, you know, what I like, what I would build for myself and kind of why I would build it, you know, the options that I like. So let's get right to it. So right here at the top of the screen, you know, you can hover over the dump uh, tab and it gives you kind of a quick list, you know, going from the smallest uh, GST, which is the little single axle telescopic, all the way up to the WDT and it, it progresses, right? You got 6,000 pound GVW, 7,000 pound GVW on the GDT, 9890 on the MDT, and then 14.9 through 24,000 on the LPD, LPT and DOD. And then of course you got the big guy, the WDT, which is a 25,000 through 30,000 GVW on it. So my pick, you know, for the, like the best of all worlds, uh, so to speak, would be going with the LPT. That's, you know, our signature low profile frame, you know, that we had come up with, we pioneered years ago and, you know, coupled with the telescopic uh, cylinder package on the front. It definitely, to me, you know, personally, the telescopic cylinder versus the scissor lift is just no question. The telescopic being mounted in the, you know, in the vertical position on the front is just ultimate dumping power, no matter how you cut it. It uh, is always gonna dump. You don't have to, you know, with the scissor lift under the bed in here, you've always got to, you know, be mindful, even in the strongest scissor lifts, you gotta be mindful of how you, how you, uh, you know, distribute the weight of whether you're putting dirt or rock or whatever in it versus, you know, with that, that telescopic up front, it's just a non-question, it's gonna dump it. Now the LPT, you can get a bumper or gooseneck, either one, you know, my preference is bumper, bumper pull to keep the, you know, the bed of the truck clear and uh, not have, you know, not have it obstructed, you know, with the gooseneck. But I do like the way a gooseneck pulls much better backing and things. And let's be honest, you, nobody can borrow a gooseneck it, or it, you won't be as apt to have people to ask to borrow a gooseneck versus the, the bumper pull. So we're going to start the bumper pull here you know, on the LPT. You roll down and on every product page, there's this build your own trailer. So if I click this, it's going to auto scroll me down to the build your own section. So it tells you, you know, the steps one, two, and three, you know, you can configure your trailer and you can submit it to your three closest dealers. And then they will contact you with, uh, pricing should contact you with pricing and when they can possibly get one ordered for you, if you're going to order it, or if they might happen to have one on hand. So starting out, you know, I'd ask you what GVW, you know, do you need what GVW are? And that's one of those things, you know, we, we try and ask the most important factors up front uh, to try and get you off to the right start. So, you know, on the left, there's the 207, that's 14.9. It goes to 18,000 with 208, 20,000 with 210, and 24,000 with a 307 package. The front end of all of our numbers, that 207 means two 7,000 pound axles, 208, two 8,000 pound axles, 210 and 307, uh, you, you get where I'm going. And so depending on the job you need to do, you pick which GVWR package, you know, suits you best. Personally, I like the, the 208 is, is my personal favorite because it's kind of the, I guess the, the perfect combination of power to weight ratio. You know, it's a little heavier than the 207 as far as physical weight, but man, it's, it packs a, a punch you're getting you're going from you're getting 3,000 pounds more of payload and the trailer realistically weighs mm, 600 pounds five to 600 700 pounds more maybe and so it's not you're not trading off a lot of of uh, payload for weight of the trailer so I'm going to click 208 that's going to that's my preference you know it already comes with the heavier duty tires that are going to have a lot better tread life last longer than the regular 10 plies the, the 208 comes with the 
you know, 16 ply, 215, 17, 501 tire. My personal favorite length is 14 foot. From 12 to 16, uh, you got 12, 14, 16. Mine is a 14 grade in between. Handles, you know, skid steered equipment well, but it's not overkill in bed length because let's face it, if you, especially if you're hauling aggregate, sand, you know, uh, dirt, r gravel, stuff like that. I mean, you can really load a 14 footer uh, if you're looking at cubic volume. I mean, it's got, got plenty, especially get into sides and, and different side options. So I would go 14 foot. I'm gonna keep the, the standard axles or drop axles. So we're gonna stay with those. Um, spring suspension is fine for me. Uh, torsion is good. I like the torsion in the dump trailer. Um, I, I, I think I like the regular, the spring a little bit better for the dump trailer application. So we're gonna stay bumper pull. Here's where it gets fun to me looking at the uh, the body and sides i like these seven gauge sides because to me i explain it it's like cheap insurance i mean it's a few hundred dollar upgrade to go to the seven gauge thickness versus the standard 10 gauge but it's one of those things no matter what you're almost no matter what you're doing you know this is for the guy that it just it's going to handle it and it's a power to weight ratio thing add a couple hundred pounds to the trailer but you're getting a floor and side combination that's, I mean, almost indestructible. Like tearing it up would be, you would have to be just relentlessly beating it with a sledgehammer, to, I mean, or, you know, a concrete hammer. And it just, I mean, I've seen these beds hold up tremendously well in the most brutal situations. I like the 32 inch sides. You know, go 32 because it's a little taller than the 24, but not as tall as the 44. So it kind of gives you a very well rounded when you're going seven gauge and 32 inch sides. You know, you for hauling, it could uh, cross over very well for hauling debris or having to haul aggregate or, or sand or whatever. So I do like having the board brackets and, and uh, raised front. Kind of see this picture it uh, raises raises the front of the trailer up six inches and puts you a two by six up there. So if you're loading over the side of the bed, you know, with a bucket and you bump that board, it's okay if you bust the board, you can replace it versus hitting the dang side of the trailer. You know, you end up tearing up paint and stuff like that. So especially if you've got guys running your, your dump trailer and not, not watching, I mean, face it, when you've got crews, they have the best of intentions sometimes, but man, they can end up uh, bumping it when they don't own it, you know? So let's see, I, I would add the rear stabilizers just so when you're loading equipment, it's uh, a little bit more of a stable approach you know, into the dump trailer. My favorite color is by far the metallic gray color. It's just, it's other than black, it's got a lot of sparkle in it. It's a beautiful color and uh, it's, it's very, a resilient color for sure. So in which we've got, you know, seven, six or seven other colors that are of no charge. That's one thing you'll find. We have a lot of standard paint colors that are of no charge, but if you go back up here and select special color, we've got a few of them that actually have a, an upcharge to them, kind of your wilder colors, not such uh, normal colors. So, all right. Hydraulic jack is a no-brainer. Let's see here. Solar panel, another no-brainer. Cheap insurance. You know, I'm a guy that would use the dump trailer a handful of times a month. And so for me, having it sitting outside with a solar panel on it, it is great because, you know, it's gonna help keep that battery maintained. 3 16 fenders is a huge one. Let's blow this picture up. These fenders are 3 16 super heavy duty. The cool thing about them is if you were to um, hit them with a the bucket loading over the side of the dump trailer or you know, you back it up against something, they're so heavy duty. I mean, whatever you hit it with, they're gonna know it. It's much stronger than a normal 14 gauge. So that's a must have for me. 36 inch step, so I can step up the side. And then from there, I think I'm pretty, pretty close. Tarp is standard. Uh, definitely wanna go with a, a spare mount. And then electric over hydraulic disc for me is a no brainer. Kind of blow this picture up. The cool thing about it is, you know, disc, much like the evolution of disc on vehicles, it is a it's just a better experience. They're better stopping power 
and then compared to drum brakes, which discs do cost more up front, but compared to drum brakes, the ongoing maintenance costs are less when you're replacing just replacing pads versus complete brake assemblies. So then you would hit review configuration and what it's gonna do, it's gonna show me everything that I did. It's gonna give me the model, the length, and then you can see anything that has a, a price typically is, a, is an option I selected, but it also gives me all your standards as well to where I, I know whenever, you know, after I do it, man, this is where, this is the trailer that I want. And if you say you need to go back and edit, you can come down here and click edit and go back and change it if you want it tallies up your MSRP. So MSRP is important because it is like window sticker. Think of MSRP like going to the car lot and looking at the window sticker on a car, that's MSRP. It's not necessarily what you're gonna pay for it, whether that you know uh, it's less or right at, it just depends on the timing and the dealer that you're dealing with as to you know, your actual sale price, but we elected to put MSRP on our website, unlike most anybody else in the industry does. We did it because we want you to have some frame of reference as to, you know, what all, you know, what you added, how much it cost, you know, uh, sticker wise. And like it says, it's not, this is not final sales price. We've got some more, another step to go. So let's see, we would put all of our information in here for next steps and say, you know, you're, you're looking for a good deal. So then we could go down here, hit select the dealer, and it's gonna bring up the dealer locator. So it's gonna show you automatically geolocate the closest three dealers to you. So for me, you know, located in Mount Pleasant, we have a few dealers around. I would click one of these, hit submit, and it's gonna send it to that dealer. And when you do, it'll send you a receipt showing, you know, hey, you sent this configuration to, which you can actually send it up to all three of the dealers. And it would say, hey, you sent this configuration to all three of these dealers. And you just say, yep, that's what I did. You file it, you can save that email. That way um, you can, once that dealer follows up, you've got a reference to go back to. Or if for some reason you missed a call or whatever, you've got that, that so you can follow up with the dealer uh, on the, the one that you sent. So I, I appreciate you guys taking time out with me to go over this build. You know, I hope it, it was insightful for you and just go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already to get uh, notifications. You subscribe to get notified whenever we put out new videos like this one or any of the walk arounds that we're doing. So also make sure to follow us on all the major social channels and we'll see you on the road.